All right, let's do it. Now, before any of you ask what the hell I'm doing, understand I got this game for free on Gamefly. Gamefly actually sent me one copy a couple weeks ago and it got lost in the mail, which I took as a sign from the universe I'm not supposed to be playing this game. No. No way, come on. The Activision loading screen free? Oh, it crashed at the Activision loading screen. Okay, we're off to a good start. Truly an experience worthy of the Tony Hawk legacy. This video is probably going to be the best part about the game, I think. Those textures better not be loaded in. Okay, good. <laughs> How does it take like 10 seconds to load these textures or is that finished? No, of course not. Jesus Christ. My God, when people said this had PlayStation 2 graphics, that's actually pretty generous. Some people said that the cell shading in this looked good. I think it looks terrible. The, the physics are terrible. The graphics are terrible. Okay, whatever. We gotta get these swag crates. Swag crates. Who the hell thought it would be fun just to put pointless crates around this map and just hit them? Why is that fun? I don't know that I've ever seen less inspired game design. Couldn't you at least think of some kind of stupid reason to, to hit crates? In past Tony Hawks, they at least tried. They'd be like, oh, the, all the police supplies are in the crates and we gotta smash them so the police can't stop us from skateboarding. What is the point of these swag crates? <sighs> How, how can you possibly have frame rate drops in this shitty of a game? Like, look at these textures. Look how small this map is. Look at this garbage everything. Look at this garbage game and tell me that it can't render everything in 60. How is this supposed to be fun? Again, nothing is explained in this game. Just, like, generally some kind of ambiguous objective of smashing something or hitting something. It's not really explained how or why. You're just tasked with doing it. Ooh, why are the swag crates back? I don't know that I'm gonna have the patience to play this game. Big head barracks, huh? Now see, I pick a challenge and then it goes to a loading screen to bring me into the same map I'm already in. And then it asks, do you accept the challenge that you've already picked? Yes, I accept, I already selected it. Ooh, well, at least I get to blow this guy's head off. That's satisfying. Sorry, Chris. It's pretty much how I feel about this game, to be honest. <laughs> it's interesting how play co-op is the default. As though anyone in the world is playing this game. How presumptuous. Why is it... Why is this game at like two frames a second right now? Attack of the Drones. Man, I remember when these games had stories and they at least tried to give you some explanation of what was going on. There's nothing like that in this game. There is zero explanation for why I'm hitting drones. There's no soul in this game. There's no effort. There's no reasonable attempt to make you connect with the game in any way. It is so lazy. It is so soulless. It is literally just a money grab on the part of Activision and Tony Hawk and all the bullshit parties involved. Like, why am I doing this right now? I don't demand Tony Hawk be story of the year, but I would like some effort to get me invested. This is so fucking stupid. The depth of this game is seriously sub Xbox One, and I mean the original Xbox, not Xbox One. Perform any tricks that Tony says as they appear and consecutively for a higher point value. Let's assume this game doesn't have the production value for Tony to actually say it. Of course not. Of course Tony's not here to say it as he would have been in 2002. F*** off, Tony. I don't give a shit what you say. Tony says, give me your mom's credit card. Tony says, it's the last year of my contract with Activision and I gotta cash in. Tony says, I'm nearly 50 years old and I don't have a lot of time left to milk this cash cow. Well, now that we've heard what Tony says, it's time to play Skag says. And Skag says, f*** you, Tony, for promoting this game with a straight face. Skag says Baghdad Bob is a more credible salesperson. Skag says he doesn't care if you did a 900, this is your legacy now. Skag says this is the WGOTY, the worst game of the year. Rage quit. 